something with computer audio. So you meditate? Yes, I meditate during the process, but it's a visualization meditation. So it's essentially me in my own head, visualizing each one of the colors of the chakras from my base up to my head. And then I, because I do it in the shower as a thinking point, it goes from my head down back through the colors and I do one direction hot, the other direction cold, so that each one of the colors has a circle effect around me. And then I visualize those circles going into a spinning orb around my energy body as a reflective shield that keeps negativity from coming in and balances off and absorbs and expels positivity. That's basically how I work it. So at least that's what I was trying for. Let's see if I got that back on there. Can you still hear me now? Yeah, you can keep going. Okay. I've got the thing on. Uh, can you send me the link? Hold on. More invite uh, contacts. I'm <laughs> copy invite link. Give me two seconds, try to figure out how to get this to you. I, I am in, according to this, hold on. I'm trying to get it on my computer to send to you. I figure out how to invite people. Uh, okay, scoop size. And get me down here. I'm going to the Zoom on my phone. Uh, um, uh, I don't. Oh, come on. Let's see. I've got me on there now. Let's see if I can figure out how to share this. Meeting settings. Name when participant joins, non video, my gallery. Close. Um, uh, I can't figure this out. Um, I am trying to figure out, I don't know how to get you on here now. I'm uh, it's, uh, I'm just trying to find it. I'm on here. I should be five people. This is uh, participants invite email people to copy invitation. I'm trying to get this down give me a sec i'm having i'm i am having difficulty finding it at the moment between the phone and the computer i don't know on the uh, i'm 
trying to find it. It's uh, and it's the P2 creates is the passcode. I'm not gonna help this. Good. I'm a participants. I'm messenger send to the come to you. I get it to send to you. Uh, under MSN or SMS, I just sent a link. I could try again another way. Let's see, invite messenger send. Did you connect that time? Okay. So, ask to unmute. No, I do more options. So much. I really need to get better with them. <laughs> but in the overall process, I've got me on there twice don't understand uh, more uh, uh, I did put it in I put the I put the original um, flyer you made with the past, uh, I forgot the passcode on it, but the original flyer has the meeting ID on it. And the passcode is K2 creates. And that's what it all says here, but my thing is not connected in a way that I can send anything other than Gmail or Yahoo for invitations from this thing. And it's not making any sense to me. Did I enable a waiting room? Can you get in yet? Because I can, okay, admit, there we go, you're in, so I have it as a, I don't have a time limit. No, let me just see. Boom. I just made you host. Oh, 
at this point. I start my painting because I've been looking into meditating. I have the color black as the ground, where your energy body is, the nothingness to help things along. And I just put a little black on my palette already. what I'm seeing sort of at this point. The uh, overall starting point, I had this giant piece of cardboard that I got last week when I was working on putting the bed together. And inspiration decided that that was going to be my palette for this week. Now I'm Looking at my black energy body, putting a couple of black marks on the overall palette. Inspiration takes it. I'm going to move to red here in a minute. My red exercise for my energy body tends to be sit ups. And I picture myself doing about 10 sets of three on sit-ups. Red goes in on the painting. And as I do this, I start at black and I go up through red, orange, yellow, green, blue purple, pink, white, and clear. I do this when I'm in the shower so that I have the heat from hot water going from the ground up. And then when I hit clear at top, I go to cold and, and go back down through all the colors. So, when I hit the top of the red energy body, close her down and bring it back to a mental position where I go back in and my orange is left plank. No, it's right plank. Right plank for orange, left plank for yellow. Big orange. I'm add more here because the orange is a little thin. Fresh water, you know, color. I will definitely add a little more yellow. And about 12 after now, so I'm going to move a little quicker through the orange. Get that on there. Move on to the yellow. Now to get both sides even. Bunch of color in here, the orange making this red. Boom, boom, boom. Now, when you're done with the minute or so of blanking on each color. Orange, yellow, rinse off my orange, and go deep on yellow, probably more yellow than 
intended. I get my yellow up. And after yellow, we go to green. My green energy body workout is uh, push ups, green push ups. And in the process, green push ups, I do about Five for each color, so I end up doing 50 push ups as a way of cleaning it. Each one of my colors adds a corresponding number of exercises to the color point of the 10 color chakras I use. And that is part of what makes it better. Um, clean up the brush a little because you got it. With yellow color, sun, flowers, things of great abundance, positivity, warmth and fire. When we transition to green, there's life. Abundance of color. Everything in nature has some sort of photosynthesis with the color green. Take the green, add it on to the pot. And of course, green is my push ups, 50 of them. Let's add it on to the color. Big green ear points covering my black. I'm going to sell my water and some other green. About halfway through your push ups if you're doing it. Of course, the synergy is that the visualization takes place every morning in the shower. And after you're done in the shower, when you start your day, you do some of the workouts to make the physical connection with the visual connection. And you smile while you do it. it brings up all the positive connections that come in from linking both the colors and actions to physical and personal grounding. As you go with the green, sorry, I think it was missing out on what I'm taking here. I think the computer here. Uh, make sure I'm on time. Green, come around there. Fifty push-ups. Now, I don't know what that was. Anybody trying to get into me? Oh. Make me the host. I thought I did. Did I make you the host now? I don't know. It says you're the host. Oh yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't see anybody. 
lights on green. And then I got to move on to blue. And the blue energy workout, which originally blue and purple were both concentration curls. And I kind of realized that that wasn't quite right. So I have taken a moment and switched my blue from concentration curls to a standing horse stance, which any of you are familiar with martial arts, basically a solid standing point where you come and go. And the reason I switched the horse stance to blue, or I switched the color of blue to horse stance, because with blue chakra, you end up with it being your throat chakra and your sound. So in the process, I wanted to make sure that it was something that had a sound associated with it. And horse stance, all the way, whenever you make a strike in martial arts, it's a hua. So, blue energy body got the hua for our working. I'm just going to take the blue, add it to the painting and so now it's 50 or it's 10 punches each side up to 50 per color with the sound to integrate the body and physical and visual energies I take the last few color of the blue, and then we know that we're taking, after blue, we're going to purple. And purple, I switched from a concentration curl to purple is actually now, it's jump rope. Uh, visually, purple is the connection to your intuition. The spinning factor of jump rope, along with the synergy of sight and knowing things as they come in and timing, is important. So I switched the purple color energy workout to jump rope. So then you're a little bouncy. It's also a third eye chakra color. Each point in your colors are important. To have some positive thoughts behind it. That's why I like jump rope because it's a connection to childhood and play. And I felt that that was better representation of joy and abundant mindset than having concentration curls with a lot of thoughts overworking. And here, my next color is going to have to be pink. I have to flip my painting upside down for a second. Try not to get my books. I've got How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie and Awaken the Giant Within between our office. Sitting right here, holding my painting up. I'm working the purple in, but I'm also kind of crossing it with the red and blue at the moment because that's how the inspiration hit me for the jawline on this particular painting. About seven minutes left. Make sure I get this in. We are now moving on to the pink. 
Jacks are important because it's kind of it gets your whole body into the energy, and when you move your whole body into the energy, the connection becomes better. The positive and abundant growth mindsets that are necessary for healing and knowing everything connects. Every piece of energy is all part of existence. They're all interconnected. So anything that can heal, you can connect to energetically. Oh. Uh, pink is done. Boy. My white meditation is actually meditation where I just sit down and physically meditate and I visually envision myself taking all of the legs of each one of the colors that I think in, every color with the spinning each color ring that I did in the heated colors and the bold colors, I take those rings and mentally when I'm in the source connection to the white energy sitting there meditating, I take all those color rings and spin them around me to create a magnet effect of positivity which I can also use to repel negativity. So, there's uh, somebody trying to call me. I can't do that very well. So, but in the process, I do the energy like that. The light one spins all the other colors. The clear energy is just drinking water and breathing in. It's positive growth and support for everything around you. It comes from both without and within. Unseen powers, positive things, negative things. You might perceive as negatives that are actually there to help support your growth and abundance. Uh, a lot of different stuff to it. I always work to keep the very clean in the process. Uh, next Monday, I am going to be doing a Zoom at 10 a.m., not my meditation one, but I have a art talk, artist talk team ups that I'm starting one a month with special guest speakers from different 
backgrounds in art or community service or business. And my first guest speaker is Chrissy Hill Bartles. And she does make a, make a living acting anywhere. And we're planning on meeting today to talk and set it up for next Monday at 10 a.m. It'll be a free Zoom with some more information and a bunch of fundamentals about team ups with art and otherwise. If you have any questions at this point and want to ask anything, feel free. I'm just taking this last few minutes of the Zoom to add in some extra color around some of the stuff I've done. Uh, no, give me two seconds. I'll uh, bring it around so you can actually see the full effect of what I'm painting. All right. That is a chakra dragon. Just about done with the Zoom. Not sure when it's gonna stop, but it is recorded and I will be putting it on my YouTube channel. The next artist team, artist talk team up is going to be a free Zoom. The one after is going to have some premium content with question and answer at the end. We will get that advertised out there after the free one. Hope everyone has had fun. Naya, thank you again for hosting and trying to hop on here with me. I greatly appreciate it. I know that your time is quite valuable with everything that you're doing work-wise and running around. I know that 
it was uh, just that almost the right time of day where you're not too busy on the charts. You're good. I like that painting too, by the way. I was gonna say it's a, it's a little, of course it's- It looks really cool. It's, yeah, you know, that's one of the great things about doing, setting it up like this is, well, I go through each color, it kind of just inspires me to think of lots of things. Like, I can't even, I wouldn't have even thought when I started that I would be putting blue and purple around the jaw. As the jaw, when I started with a big orange head. <laughs> mm -hmm. But as I went through each color, I could go through it. And I like it. it. But I definitely have more. I like it too. Almost turtle-ish. <sighs> so. Okay, um, so. We didn't introduce ourselves in the beginning, so <laughs> um, again, <laughs> we went through. Definitely, it's yeah. all part of the recording. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm Naya, Naya Boss, or Nyara. You know, a lot of people know me as that, like my family and friends. I am currently in Arizona right now. I grew up in South Dakota. I'm from Sudan, and Basically, we are part of IMO Master Academy. We trade and we do our own thing. Um, I want to, um, this call is actually a special call from one of my friends, Chris Knight, that I met through Trey. Um, Chris Knight is from Stowe, Vermont, you guys. And um, he actually taught me about chakras and energy. Like, I, I knew an idea about it, but he taught me more and showed me, like, Break, he broke down the different meanings and like just how you can use those um, energies for the better. So um, I want to give it up to Chris so he could introduce himself as well. Um, his call has been amazing. I've learned so much about like meditation, not only from like th from him, but many other great people just like him as well. So Chris, I want you to take it up from here and just like introduce yourself and let them know how like this call will really change your life because just to know a little bit more information that's automatically change your life and how you can think and how you can use that energy. Well, thank you, Naya. Again, I'm Chris Knight. I'm from oh, Scotland. I graduated high, uh, I graduated college in 2017 after a almost 20 year break from it, I ended up with a Bachelor of Science in Integrated Studies with a focus on English and business. When I originally went to school for not, in, well, I was going for English, psychology, and philosophy with a fine art minor. I've always done it. painting and things like that. I had several mentors throughout the years, and I've realized that a combination of things where you can take things that you would pressure points and things like that that you would use for martial arts to hurt people can be used help heal people. So I've noticed a large synergy between different types of disciplines. And as such, I understood the nature of chakras and I paint. So I decided to take those two disciplines and work them together into a practice where I visually see myself as one thing. And I elevate myself energetically each time by going through a physical exercise in each one of the chakras to make it connect all together. And 
my overall goal is both to express how this works well, showing everyone what I'm doing, and making it so that since I started my art business and after college that I actually stay focused and do some painting and artwork and get myself out there a little bit. Not super comfortable being in front of the camera or public speaking, but that's part of the process of learning how to elevate your own business, be connected to your mentors through the academy and everything else. I mean, they always tell you to do what you got to do, be yourself. I mean, well, and painting and art and words and speaking, that's what I do. I like to create. As I do so, I make things that some people find enjoyable. Others might question what it is, but all in all, there's nothing stopping me from making things and being positive in the process. And if you can stay looking at any color around you and sync those particular colors with a mental image of yourself physically doing exercise and a positive energy boost each time you see it. Imagine the power of looking out and seeing the snow and knowing that every individual snowflake of white you can see yourself meditating within and spinning orbs of every ring of color around you in the process to protect your energy and abundance. It's a beautiful thing in winter and it'll keep you from being depressed in the process. Because, well, there's not as much light for part of the winter and that is, it eats on people. We all know that. <laughs> There's nothing better than summer when it's all sunny and hot. Except when it's sunny and a little bit cool with the breeze. And like I said, I've been working on painting and connecting with people. There's something about putting a schedule in place and making sure that you do these things. I mean, I went to college and I spent just about two years in the process of learning a bunch of business stuff. But in the process, the whole time I was writing up a business plan for my art business. So this is one aspect of marketing and self-promotion while offering a service and value to other people by letting them understand that they can connect in other ways to people, colors, and energy. I mean, you didn't, if, if you didn't have an abundant mindset to begin with, you wouldn't understand that everything's possible if you put your mind to it. And you know, it takes a little work and effort to get through certain things mentally sometimes. And when you finally have that breakthrough, the epiphany of how things connect and what will work for you and what will help you get ahead. This whole process for me is part of getting ahead. I'm painting every day I'm, or bi-weekly I'm painting. I'm creating and I'm creating an inventory. I've got a friend coming this couple in like a couple weeks, to give me a hand setting up my Facebook store for all these paintings and things. Uh, I'll be downloading this to the YouTube channel once I have it finished recording and I find it in <laughs> on the computer. <laughs> Still getting used to technology. One of the disadvantages of being a 
artist in some ways is I don't always connect to, uh, I don't always connect to the computers and technology as well as I should. But that's part of the process of putting this out there and working on it. The more I connect to it, the better I get. And the less uncomfortable it becomes, the more accurate and comfortable I become. The guest speakers will be able to offer content and effort, which will be rewarded with, hopefully in 2021, in-person events, because, well, we're getting there. Now I'm adding a little gold around the top by the horns and things, because I need a base color between the brown background that I have left and this wonderful green and black connecting on these horns that I got. And because clear color is the one I use for rinse and paint brushes, and I don't really have a clear to put on until after it's all dry. And that's just basically a sealer to hold it all in. I gotta make sure that I date it. I got less than two minutes left, a minute 30 left. So anything you want to say left, Naya, and we will be putting something together for next week's guest speaker Zoom on Monday. Um, I just want to say thank you, and that's all I got to say. Awesome. Um, thank you, Naya. I greatly appreciate having you hop on and yeah. with me. We will get this whole... I week. see Carlos is on here, too. Yeah, I see Carlos hopped on. Thank you, man. We what will, up, Carlos? We will have it on a YouTube channel uh, at the end of the day. My, my video connection is a little slow, so it doesn't always upload as fast as it should up here in Vermont. We're working on getting that changed today, too. We'll get some better Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. Big changes in 2021. A lot of big, big changes. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Edge of that. One minute left, less than a minute. Thank you, everybody, for showing up. Mm -hmm. You have a great day, and uh, we'll talk to you probably later today. I'm going to get okay, on a phone you. call at 11 with Chrissy and make sure we're all set up for next Monday. Okay. You yeah, guys have a good day. Good morning. Bye. Bye. Oh, it will end in just a second. I know it will. <laughs> it says less than a minute.